Alright, so I got another package from a subscriber. And I do want to apologize because I know that these unboxing videos are more of a tease than anything else. Kind of like a teaser trailer for the what's inside. But it's always nice when somebody sends me something and I do kind of want to share the experience of opening it up. This one I'm particularly excited about. This one came from Kiwi Dude. You can find his channel on YouTube, and he does a lot of ration reviews himself, including a lot of U.S. MRE reviews. And it's interesting to get a New Zealander's take on the U.S. rations. I'm always interested in foreign rations, but they're really usually pretty expensive and pretty hard to find. So when somebody's willing to send me one, I'm very happy to accept it. As you can tell from the title, this is a New Zealand Operational Ration Pack, or ORP. You can see it came from New Zealand. Uh, before I even open this, I do want to mention that I even find this box interesting. If you look at this design here, kind of a nice touch. You have it here too. And apparently, this is a Maori word for protection or guardian. And this particular design represents tiaki or care. And they uh, relate that to New Zealand post role and watching over mail as it travels from one destination to another. Kind of a nice touch. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll talk about it a little bit more. A note from Kiwi Dude. So he's got his own letterhead. It's a nice touch. And here is the New Zealand ORP or Operational Ration Pack. This is a 24 hour ration, so it should be similar to the US's first strike ration and the French RCIR, which I did a review of a couple years ago, another 24 hour ration. Luckily the stuff in here appears to be in English, so that should make it a little bit easier. It's a pretty big package. No writing on the package at all. It's just a plastic bag. It's taped up. It's all uh, packaged in there pretty good. It's a lot of stuff. I'm interested to see what all the stuff is. I'm in the can in here. Uh, let's see, we have... You can see that. The vegetable tagine, if I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know exactly what that is, but we'll find out when we try it out. And there's also the Thai chicken. It's a couple of New Zealand favorites. And I've never had one of these before, and as far as I know, they're pretty rare to find. Kiwi Dude mentioned to me that the New Zealand Defense Force only has about 14,000 members between the Army, Navy, and the Air Forces. So these aren't going to be produced in the kind of numbers that MREs are produced in. They're also pretty rare to find on YouTube. If you are looking to check these out while you're waiting for my videos to come up, I would recommend going to Kiwi Dude's channel. He's done a multi-part review on one of these. And also Gundog4314, who sent me stuff in the past. He's also done a multi-part review on one of these. They have uh, different menus than the one that I'm going to be doing, but it's a good good way to look at it, and as far as I know, the only place you can find them on YouTube. I guess that's about it for the unboxing. Stay tuned for the multiple videos looking at what's inside of here. And while you're waiting, check out Kiwi Dude's channel and Gundog4314. Meanwhile, a couple things I did want to mention. First, you'll probably notice up in the corner here, I finally have a watermark on my channel. It's something I'm sure it's a pretty simple thing to do, but... I've never known how to turn a photograph into a transparency. But luckily another viewer was kind enough to do that for me. And now I have it up here, so I don't know. Hopefully that'll be a good thing to have. So uh, one little channel update. And another thing I wanted to mention was part of the reason why I appreciate something like this being sent to me so much is that uh, this is kind of a heavy item. And to send that all the way from New Zealand isn't cheap. You can see right here the postage was $51.22. 
I don't know what the conversion rate is between US and New Zealand dollars, but I'm sure that's still pretty expensive either way. And that kind of goes to explain A, why I'm so appreciative of somebody sending me something like this, and B, also, hopefully it explains the reason why when I did my MRE giveaway contest a number of months back, why I restricted it to the continental US. I know a lot of international viewers were ticked off about that. Uh, I can understand what they're saying. They were thinking that I was giving preference to US viewers or that I didn't care about the international viewers. And that wasn't the case at all. It's just simply a matter of the fact that even to send an MRE within the US, it can cost up to $10, depending on how you're sending it and where you're sending it to. And when you get into sending it to different countries, you can see it can be pretty expensive and I just don't have that kind of money lying around. Uh, so once again, I know it was a long time ago, but I do apologize for for that and um, that is the reason why I'm very hesitant to have another giveaway. It's something I am considering, but I don't know if it'll happen. But thank you to everyone. I do appreciate everyone that watches and subscribes and uh, comments on these videos. Thank you.